Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and today I'm going to show you how to paint a runner for Project Elite. <laughs> uh, it was, it's a very simple paint job. Uh, I'm going to do base color. Do, while doing the base color I'm going to add a little bit of different co colors to add life to the model. Uh, dry brushing, uh, doing the base and that's it. Nothing spectacular, probably the video quality will be crap, uh, commentary will be even worse, but hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, after this we will see what, what you need, what I'm using, what paints, and let's go to the table. <laughs> now, first we're going to do a basic coat of Cadian Flesh Tone. Ordinary I would suggest, uh, how to say, a uh, thin, couple of thin coats, but for this process, this experiment, we only need one coat. Uh, as long as it has to be a little bit of uh, diluted paint, of course, to, for it to work. Uh, and it has to be wet, yeah, so when we start mixing, adding other colors so they can mix together. Now we're going to be adding uh, Zerpius purple. On the underside of the model we need the uh, legs and other parts where they connect, so we give it a little bit of shadow and to give more life to the model, we don't have just one color color on the skin itself because no color is only one color itself. Uh, you can see uh, dust, you can see I'm working all around the model, correcting mistakes because I'm doing this very fast. Because, uh, like I said, this is just the blocking, we're blocking in the, the paints we want, the colors that we want on the model. Now we're going to add a little bit of corn red and only in the recesses of the beast, yeah, recesses of the model. You can see I made a mistake here, just take a little bit of Cadian flesh tone while, still, while the corn red is still wet and just mix them together and you get a nice transition. And go around all the model, just checking that variation. Get a mistake. Again, this is very messy <laughs> paint job. Uh, the technique itself is messy, but I think the end result will be nice for you. Now, after we've done the red, we're going to mix a little bit of ivory to the Cadian Flesh Tone and do a little bit of highlighting, just fast to, to block in the colors. And we only the top part, we won't, don't want to highlight everything we have here, just on the where the light will hit the most of the top part of the model. You see I'm not using a thin brush, just a detail brush for this, I just want to block thin. Now we're going to add a little bit of orange to give more life to the model. <laughs> this was a fun project to paint, adding, just playing around with colors. Sorry for the lack of focus on the model itself. My camera work is not good today. Apologize for that. And that's it. Mostly we blocked in the colors. You can fix in, come back with the Cadian flesh tone to fix some stuff. 
if you think it needs fixing this all depends on you and now that the model is dry just, just jumped in and on it put in a good transition on this one sorry about that uh, we're going to take ivory dry it on a tissue paper make sure that the uh, paint is that there's no actually almost no paint on the brush itself and then we're slowing slowly start dry brushing over the model the less paint uh, there is the better the dry brush will be but you will have to uh, how to say uh, come back a couple of times just to to make it even better and you just you can see I'm just going around dry brushing mostly on top concentrating mostly on top and just hitting a little bit of, on the legs just to catch some details uh, if you're wondering I'm using a makeup brush for the dry brushing I figured out that it's a little bit some of the same as all the dry brushes that you buy normally and it's cheaper so this difference now that we finished the dry brush we're going to use washes we're going to use strong tone but you can use any other washes darker washes like uh, agrax shade from citadel and everything and here we're going to go only on the recesses where the teeth are where on, the, on its feet there are some claws and if you want to darken some parts like the underbelly is it underbelly the belly part sorry Slowly you can water it down. You can see I'm going only where the recesses are just to how to say pronounce it better. Playing is not good, so hopefully you understand my explanations. If not, oh fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that one. <laughs> now you can see I'm going around. It's nothing spectacular, this is most pers personal preference, if you don't like something you can always add more wash to it. And now, now that the wash is dry, I'm going to go back with the uh, ivory and just pick out the teeth, nails on the feet and everything. This part you really don't need to do, but it's nice to pronounce the teeth and the nails one looks a little bit better this model itself doesn't have eyes so we won't be doing eyes here yeah we're finished with this one now this part is optional it's the basing of the model, you can leave it black and just do the black trim, but uh, I like my models to have bases, so I'm using Earth Texture from Valeo, brown earth. And before, just take a spatula or a, even a brush, an older brush, and just put it big blobs on uh, some places. And then take, rinse the brush and then take it and slowly push the texture where you want it not to ruin your paint job uh, just be sure to use an old brush and to how to say uh, wash it after you finish it if you leave it to dry with this texture paint you can throw the brush away it's just moving the texture around to your liking Nothing spectacular, just a little bit of base. We're going to be adding a little bit of rocks for variation. Uh, the texture paint, while it's still wet, is nice. It will hold the rocks themselves into the in, in place. They will not fall out easily. If they fall out, you can glue them later. Now we're going to use, since everything is dry, it takes a couple of hours to dry it. We're going to use uh strong tone again wash to just to wash the rocks like i said we won't painting them they have nice colors anyway on them 
So we're going to wash them a little bit just to give uh, some shading to them. That's it, and leave it to dry. Here I'm going a little bit on the side of the base also, just for variation, but you don't need to do it. Next thing we're going to do, again dry brushing, and we're going to use the same color we used for the final highlight on the skin, it's ivory. Again, uh, remove almost all the paint from the from the brush and just dry brush it all around. Even if you make mistakes on this part, we used ivory on the on the model itself, so it won't make problems. But if you're using a different color, just be careful not to mess up the paint scheme. Again, another optional part you can use tufts just to give a little bit of variation to the base. Here I'm using my own my own tufts. I make them myself. So don't ask me for where I where I bought them. And the last part is do the trim. I'm using black. Uh, you can do whatever your color you like. And after this dries, take a varnish, matte varnish, protect your model. And that's it. You can see the final product here. Nothing spectacular. Thank you. And that's it. Uh, hope, hopefully you enjoyed this crappy tutorial. Uh, I know I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you want to talk shit about me, leave a comment below. Uh, what else? If you want anything for me to cover, Put a suggestion below if I have time, I'll do it. Uh, what else? Uh, subscribe to my channel if you really want to. I really don't know why, but okay. Uh, hit the bell button if you really want to get notifications when I upload new videos. And thank you for watching and stay grumpy.